1932, a film called I Am a Fugitive from a Chain Gang hit the screens, gripping audiences with its gritty tale. This movie follows the journey of a man wrongly accused and imprisoned. As the plot unfolds, viewers are taken on a roller coaster of emotions, encountering moments both funny and shocking as well as heart-wrenching scenes. One can't help but wonder what would you do if you were in his shoes. Amidst the twists and turns of the story, one question lingers who stood out the most among the characters. Whose performance captured your attention the most? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to tell us about your own experiences related to this film. We're eager to hear your stories. Keep watching for more interesting tidbits about this classic. This movie tells a gripping story that keeps you hooked throughout. The main character goes through tough times and gets unfairly sent to prison. Despite all the challenges, he stays strong and determined, which makes it easy to feel for him. The bond between the characters, like those formed in the military, adds depth to the tale. The tension rises with each escape attempt, showing how much the main character wants his freedom back. There's an exciting car chase scene that keeps you on the edge of your seat, even though it doesn't rely on fancy effects. However, the ending might leave you wanting more closure for the main character's struggles. Even though the movie is old, it still speaks to important issues from the past. Paul Mooney's performance stands out, pulling you into the story with his portrayal of the main character. While some of the other actors might not shine as much, Mooney's strong presence keeps you interested from beginning to end. If you're curious about the true story behind the film, there are some fascinating facts to discover. The main character's life after the events of the film adds another layer of interest to the story. Overall, I Am a Fugitive from a Chain Gang is a classic movie that continues to connect with audiences today, reminding us how movies can shine a light on social problems. The movie I Am a Fugitive from a Chain Gang featured Sheila Terry, who had previously worked as a school teacher in Minnesota from 1927 to 1929. A replica of the prison camp where the story unfolds was constructed on the Warner Ranch in Calabasas, CA. Actor Paul Mooney met extensively with Robert E. Burns in Burbank to accurately portray the real fugitive's mannerisms, aiming to capture the smell of fear. This attention to detail and character portrayal added depth to the film's narrative, enhancing the overall authenticity of the story. Did you know that the actor Charles Middleton, who played a memorable role in a famous movie, is actually the grandfather of Burr Middleton, also an actor? Middleton's performance in the film really caught people's attention. Another actor from the same movie, Preston Foster, is buried at El Camino Memorial Park in La Jolla, California. Fans often visit his grave to honor his contributions to the film industry. Then there's Edward Ellis, who had an interesting start to his acting career. He began performing on stage when he was only seven years old at Hooley's Theater in Chicago. His early start set him on a path to success, earning him recognition in the industry. Preston Foster retired from the film industry and later became the executive director of the El Camino Playhouse in California. In this role, he wrote, acted in, and directed plays. Paul Mooney, on the other hand, once mentioned to Clifford Audits how he gave up boxing to protect his secondary career as a violinist. This conversation inspired Audits to write Golden Boy, later adapted into a film directed by Robin Mamoulian. Mooney reportedly disliked being labeled a film star and anything connected with stardom. Rumors suggest the final fade in the movie came about by accident. Director Mervyn Leroy intended a blackout after the last line, but a blown light during rehearsals caused a slow fade, which Leroy found powerful and decided to keep. Some sources argue it was planned from the start, as the original script described the scene with the fade. Paul Mooney's scene walking down the railroad tracks, aimlessly heading forward, was later used similarly in another film, Border Town. Dennis O'Keefe changed his stage name from Bud Flanagan in 1937. In the world of classic movies, actors have interesting connections that go beyond just acting. Irving Bacon was in many famous movies that won big awards. Sally Blaine had an interesting family. Her sister married a famous actor, which added to her story. Dennis O'Keefe did more than act. He also helped his kids become directors. These connections show how close people in Hollywood are, both on and off the screen. They make the movie world seem like a big family. It's interesting to learn about these actors and their connections, showing that there's more to Hollywood than just movies. In addition to being a significant movie of its time, I Am a Fugitive from a Chain Gang had some important people involved in making it. Sally Blaine, who acted alongside her sisters in another movie in 1939, was one of them. Lionel Atwell, who worked for Warner, did the voiceover for the movie's trailer. Glenda Farrell, known for her role in a movie from 1933, got picked partly because she knew the writer Robert Riskin. 
These folks, each bringing their own talents to the film world, played roles in making and promoting this classic movie. In the 1930s movie, a flashy blonde American lead, Sheila Terry, starred alongside other actors. Terry previously worked with John Wayne in early westerns before leaving the business within a decade. Additionally, Alan Jenkins, known for his role in Mutiny on the Bus, played a significant character. Edward Ellis, a Broadway actor known for portraying crooks and shady characters, also appeared in the film. These actors contributed to the movie's success with their diverse talents. In the movie, Charles Middleton, known for his memorable portrayal of the evil Emperor Ming the Merciless in the Flash Gordon series, played a significant role. His strong presence on screen added depth to the character lineup. Paul Mooney, who acted alongside Middleton, had an interesting journey in his career. He had actually turned down a role in another well-known film, High Sierra, which eventually went to Humphrey Bogart. Sheila Terry, another member of the cast, brought her own unique talents to the production. Trained at the Canadian branch of the Royal Academy of London, she showed a wide range of skills in her performance. These actors, each with their own background and experience, surely contributed to the film's success. Their combined talents improved the storytelling and captured audiences worldwide. To sum up, Middleton's strong presence, Mooney's nuanced performance, and Terry's trained skills created a cinematic experience that resonated with viewers. Their contributions, both individually and as part of the group, solidified the film's place in cinematic history. In the world of movies, there's a story about a film from 1932 that stirred up a lot of debate. Some people say it was written by Howard J. Green and Brown Holmes, but many experts believe that Sheridan Jibney actually did most of the writing. Unfortunately, Jibney's name got erased from the credits because of a disagreement with a big shot at the studio. At first, the movie was supposed to be directed by Roy Del Ruth, who was a top director at Warner Brothers, but Del Ruth wasn't too thrilled about the script. He thought it was too serious and didn't have enough moments to lighten the mood. He said it wouldn't be popular with audiences who were looking for a break from their tough lives during the Great Depression. Despite all the disagreements and doubts, I Am a Fugitive from a Chain Gang ended up being a movie that challenged the norms of its time. It was shaped by a lot of behind-the-scenes drama and skepticism from the people making it. 